yourself, we head into another difficult away game, but how much confidence is there on the back of the, the last few results following that Northampton game? Yeah, we've had um we've had a couple of good results in the week, beat a good tram inside, I think. Um and obviously Exeter are a strong a strong League Two team, they're always up there coming the end of the season, away from home. So the belief is high in the group. We we're confident in uh, what we're doing at the moment. We we need to build on this though, not get too too upbeat. We need to keep our feet on the ground and hopefully we'll put in a good performance on Saturday. Heading into this little run of games, starting with Cheltenham and then two tough games in the teams in the top six, league leaders, fans may be a bit apprehensive of it, not wondering how it's going to pan out. How are the players approaching those games? Um, we take each game as it comes. I don't think you look can look too far ahead. Um, but I think what we've done in the last week, we would have took seven points out of those three games, whichever way they came. We, we, we were unbeaten in those three games, so we've got to use this as a springboard. Um, the confidence is going to be as high in the group as it has been at any stage of the season. So we need to take that into Saturday and hopefully, um, looking at it from on the inside, we're, we're buzzing as a group and hopefully we can put in another good performance. Away form this season as well has been fantastic. I think second in League Two overall. I think only Saturday's host Lincoln are, are, are higher. Uh, by a point, what do you put that down to? How, why, why is away form been been so consistent? I'm not so sure. I think as a group, we've, as from what I can remember, we've gone away and we've we've controlled a lot of away games, and there could probably be some more points which we've we've let slip. Um, as to why it's worked so well, I don't know. We've we've gone to some tough places and ground out some really good results. Um, which, but that all that tells me is our home form's not been, not been where it should be. So maybe. Looking, looking at targets, we should try and convert our home form and make that one of the strongest in the league and then who knows where we'll end up in the league. Do you think a little bit as well is when you go away from home, teams aren't putting banks and defenders behind the board, they're allowing you that little bit more space which, which plays into your hand? Yeah, I think you could look at it like that. I think teams, when you play at home in front of your own fans, you have to have a sort of a go, otherwise the fans will get on your back. Um, you've got to play in that more attacking mindset. So maybe when we when we play at home, teams give us a lot of respect. Um, maybe look at us at point as a good result against us on our patch. So yeah, that will play into our hands because the more space we get, the way the what type of football we've been playing, we're likely to create more chances. Um, so yeah, that's probably looking from the inside. That's probably what it's like. This is arguably the toughest test so far this season, going up against the league leaders. Um, how are you guys approaching it and? and what do you envisage from that test? Um, we're looking forward to it. We're not um, going there with, with any worries. We've got to respect what Lincoln do. They're obviously up at the top of the tiers of the league for a reason. They've got some good players. And like you said, their home record is fantastic. But we've got to look at it as a, as a, a big scout for us. If we can go there and get the three points, where will we, where will we be in the league come Saturday? We're only looking, we're looking upwards. And if we can win away at Lincoln, we can win anywhere in the league, in my opinion. Lincoln in the past been known for their physicality. They've got the the big men up front. They've got some some strong defenders, but they also got added in the summer some players who really know how to play football. And, and so there's another threat to them this season, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, I think they've got a nice balance in their team. We um, last season, like you said, they were a bit of a physical side, but they're good at what they do. Um, you can play football now, however, whichever way you want, if it gets the results. Um, but yeah, look, I think they've added some good some good footballers as well, so they can mix. Mix their game up well, which will make them a harder proposition than than maybe they were last season, and that's why they're at the top of the league. We've got to respect what they do, um, but I feel we've got the players who can look after their threats, and hopefully we can impose ourselves on them. You were in the crowd at this trip last season, so you know what that stadium's like. How t- intimidating it is, and it is a, it is a big ground to go to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, that was um, just before I was registered. I managed to watch that game. It was an interesting. It's a great atmosphere, they get a good crowd um, when it's going right for them. It's, it can be an intimidating place to play, that's what it felt like watching in. But if we can start the game well, we might quieten their crowd um, and that might work as a negative on them. So I think the other day we started the game really well. So if we can if we can get a good start in the game and maybe get an early goal, I think that will work in our favour. They might, might get on their backs a little bit. But like you said, it can be intimidating, but we've got to get past that and look at what we can do to, to quieten the crowd. Yeah, that has been key in the last couple of games, I think. Getting on the front foot early doors, scoring those goals early to, to really impose yourself, which is something maybe we haven't done previously. Yeah, I think the way we play, if if you can get a goal against 
any team, they've got to come out and um, maybe push more men forward and have a bit more of an attacking attacking threat in the game. So I think when we get the early goal, it is tough for teams, but it's about getting that second goal so we don't just rest on them, score them one goal. That was what was was made important to us the other day. That second goal really killed that game for us at Exeter. So I think starting well has been key, but it's also keeping that going until the end of the game. Yourself personally, back in the starting eleven the last few games, ten goals now since you joined in January for this season. How are you enjoying your football? Yeah, um, obviously I spoke to you early on in the season and when I wasn't in the team. Um, I said I just had to keep working hard, um, keep doing my stuff in training when I get a chance try and perform in the gap has shown faith in me in the last few games. Obviously I'm happy I I'm ambitious. I still wanna I still wanna add more to my game. I haven't scored in the last few games and when I don't score it's sort of a I'm not doing as well as I should but the the main thing is the team winning. So when you're not scoring but the team's winning, you're not too worried about it. But I'd like to uh, contribute a bit more in in the next few games if if I'm given the chance. Well, the chances are there aren't there against Exeter you had a couple in the box so it's just about finding that glimpse. Yeah, I think it kinda missed when you get a couple of um, games without scoring, maybe you start snatching at things you, which you wouldn't in other games. But like I said, I had a couple of um, chances at Exeter which got blocked on another day. They might have gone in. So hopefully I'll just keep working hard and the goals will come. But as long as the results are coming, I don't mind who scores the goals. In the top six of the division, the, the team seem really buoyant when you come down to training. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves in the moment. It must be a great feeling. Yeah, the mood's, the mood's brilliant in the camp. Um, we're happy with what we've achieved so far. Um, we're ambitious, though. We think there are a lot of points we've dropped. So who knows where we could have been if we hadn't made those maybe mistakes or not been clinical in some games. But we're not going to rest on our laurels. Sixth is is good so far, but that's not what we want to end up. We're ambitious. We want to try and finish as high up as we can. But that's going to take hard work, and we're we're all ready for it.